Yes, lads, Jubilee in here. It's Friday. I've, uh, I've finished work for the week in a few hours, and it'll be my first completed week of work from leaving university. So do leave a like to celebrate the Friday, and I hope you are still enjoying this series. We are on episode 3 now, and as you can see there, we brought Lampard and Marin into the middle. Move Gabardini to the left just to give Moscow that full chemistry to help us fang bang in the final game. We could be this. Back. Fucked up chemistry, full gold team. Hopefully it shouldn't be too much of a challenge for us as we've found so far, but you never know how someone's going to turn out because someone could be good playing with this and playing the game properly. And as you see there, it's a great save to deny him in the 26th minute. And this guy is playing pretty well, if I'm honest. It's uh, it's proven to be one of them ones and he gets a corner resulting from that. And he whips that corner in and we, uh, I don't know, it was just one of those moments. I'm thinking, what's just happened there? Gave away a penalty and I'm still not sure why and Moisevin does convert the penalty going down the middle tricking me. I uh, felt a bit hard done by there because it shouldn't have been a penalty and he acted like a complete cunt running down the pitch like that so I was like it's on now, it's on like Donkey Kong and Gabardini was going to tee up to Marion and Marion was going to chip it over to Morellas and Morellas like get fucked mate, get absolutely wrecked. And we tied it up 1-0 just into the second half. And it was game on now. No more missing nice guy. We were turning this on, lads. He shouldn't have celebrated like we did. Because Lampard was going to let off an absolute Frankie special to make it 2-1. And what a way to make it 2-1. Marion getting an assist and Lampard scoring in their debuts for the club. Rafael was going to bomb down that wing on the 68th minute. He was going to pick someone out. He was going to knock it over. Morales again. How is he getting them headers? He's only five foot three, like, and he scored. I don't know. He's scored three headers, four headers so far for us. I don't know how he's doing it, but fair play to him. Lampard put through again to get a second. Absolutely solid keeper, and it was pretty simple. Although he did make a meal of it, almost putting it the whole way across the goal, and we had won four one. The guy should have never shushed us after that undeserved penalty. Still don't know what happened there. Looking at the replay a few times, lads. But we had earned ourselves the right to open, I think it's three packs. So, but as you see there, we won the title. So I think we gave ourselves four packs now. And we are up to Division 9. So the next game is going to be tough. But we're four wins out of four games played. And we want to keep that going. But in this first pack, you see, we get Hernandez Chicarito, who will be very good to bring on off of the bench, as he does best in real life. And in the second pack we opened, we got ourselves a Cambiasso, who's a nice little bit of Serie A link. So he will be useful if needed. And then in this, um, yeah, I think this is the final pack we opened. We only opened three packs. I'm in a deep with this as I lose track of how many I'm supposed to open. But we get ourselves a Diego Alves, who's going to fit straight in at goalkeeper over the, uh, the other Brazilian keeper we already had in. He's got his name now, but that is how we're lining up. And we're ready to go. We apply ourselves the nice uh, fitness we got ourselves from the packs. We've got quite a few already ready to tackle Division 9. And we come up against, oh my lord, Rubinho, Sal, Balotelli, El Shawari, Lamella, Ramirez, Louise Vertonghi, check again. This is going to be a tough game, lads. And this shows that we're not in Division 10 anymore. And very early on, he has a shot. Brilliant save from Diego Alves. And I'm happy he's been called up. And we were put into the cosh, but we did have a few chances ourselves. Trying to go close here, but in the end, just getting back that. Nothing come of the corner. And then in the 35th minute, he finally went through. The men are going through, and a very nice finish from the men, if I must say myself. Crush that goal, and it was looking like we weren't winning this game because he had a free kick. And uh, that was the turning point, lads. He was inches away from a second goal there. Instead, we counted on it, and the momentum of the game instantly swung. Morella's eventually picking up after a few rebounds, absolutely charging ahead. David Luiz not getting the tackle in and was going, it's, we've got to win this lad. So we put it across the goal and we do make it 1-0. Sometimes you've got to make them smart passes as Air Jape would call a sweat and it just changed. And look at this for a finish lad. It came to him and it's just, I don't know why I accidentally chipped it, but it worked because it looped over the diving check's head and we went 2-1 up and in the 90th minute. We managed to block it, lads, and we had won this game. So we were going to award ourselves the two packs for this. Latina Triori and Tim Kale, lads. He could, he should be in All Star at the moment. I know, but we opened these on the Saturday, so that's why he's not. It's a shame, really. But wait, we could have got ourselves an All Star for the series, lads. But we have played five. We've won five, lads. That unbeaten streak is going. And I will see you all on Monday for episode four. So I do hope you're still enjoying this, lads. If you are, leave it a like. 
subscribe if you're new here come follow me on twitter at joe bleen hd and i will see you all later